Hi everyone, this is Jill and I'm going to show you how to do embossing powder and how to get 48 colors of embossing powder with just clear embossing powder. So the trick is using your Versamark pad first and then you stamp from the Versamark pad right into your color. So let me show you how this is done. I'm using a really fun layout here and this piece of paper right here, this is two and a half by four and a half and this size right here is two by two and a half. And I'm used to using crumb cake. I'll just go ahead and put this on first. So we kind of know where we're putting everything. Now this right here is where I'm going to emboss on. So I'm gonna get the Versamark out and I'm using Friendly Wishes stamp set right here. Okay, let me just go ahead and I'm gonna get some of our Island Indigo and stamp it. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and put it through the clear embossing powder. And I'll heat this up. We'll turn our embossing powder gun on. If you move it around while you're doing it, it actually embosses it faster. Don't ask me why, it's just if you hold it in one spot, it usually takes longer. So you want to make sure that you check by looking under the light to see if every spot is embossed. There's, I missed a spot right there. Okay, so we've got every spot done and it shows really shiny when you're done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just give this a little bit of depth by taking my sponge and just going around the edge. It just makes it pop a lot more and it kind of goes along with the paper. A lot of people are probably wondering, where did I get this paper? It's an awesome paper, and this is Serene Scenery, and that's hard to say, but it has photographs on one side of the paper. These are all the photographs, and on the other, paper, on the other side, it's more geometric. So I'm actually using the photographs for one piece and the geometric for the other. So we're gonna wanna pop this up. This is great paper for, the, for making um, the masculine cards. You're probably hearing some garden work in the background and that's my neighbor. <laughs> so he's moving rock today, so sorry about that. We'll just have to have that be part of our video the, today. So there you go, I'm always here for you. I am always here for you. So there's the card. Now let me show you how I just jazzed it up a little bit. We stepped it up here and we backed it with some of the Island Indigo cardstock. And we just tied a knot here and then just put some sequins on that. So just a little step up from that version. Let me show you a couple other ideas with that same layout. Here again, we use the strip this way and then you use a rectangle or a square. Here's the other one right here. This is very similar to what I just stamped. It's using an accent right here on the side just like we did with this one. So there's a new layout for you and showing you how to make our embossing powder in any color you want by just using the Versamark and then just your color. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to emboss with all the different stamp pads that we have. Make sure if you like this video that you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.